That's right. There are still a few key sticking points going on between the Common Council members and Mayor Soglin. So those decisions will have to be made tonight, which is happening right behind me in tonight's final budget hearing. Looking at the access from East Washington Avenue and First Street and how does that integrate? Megan Blake Horst has been working on bringing a public market to Madison for years. It's so close, so close. But the fate of that public market will be determined in tonight's meeting. To kill that would just, I think, really just emotionally and um, financially devastate many of our entrepreneurs. The market space is proposed for the corner of First and East Washington and Johnson Street. However, a group of alders have put forth two amendments that would either remove the market or cut off fundraising. Closing the door to the public market before it even has a chance. Tonight's meeting will determine the fate for multiple big projects. When they tell us they need a new station, a new facility, different training, different equipment. District 3 Alder Amanda Hall says the city is in desperate need of a police station on the west side of the city, as well as a fire station for the southeast side. We're absolutely going to take them seriously on that and give them all the support we possibly can. But Mayor Soglin wants to hold off on both of these projects. I am ready for it to be done. There really doesn't need to be as much contention as there is. Now there has been one point of agreement and that's the 15 point plan with, which addresses racial inequality. Now that is expected to be included in the budget. Now what's going on behind me right now is usually what happens if you don't get through all the amendments, they will meet tomorrow, but I've been told that an alder will be out of town tomorrow. So they're gonna try to get through everything tonight, which could mean for a long night ahead. Reporting in downtown Madison, Sarah Breckville, NBC 15.